So in this clip, I want to talk about a common compensation that I see. It seems to be really frequently seen in people with different types of foot complaints, particularly for the big toe. So this would be any kind of um, sesamoiditis style symptoms, pain in the ball of the foot, metatarsalgia, Morton's neuromas, capsulitis, um, even people that have the hallux limitus or rigidus, I see this type of uh, expression of their foot. And what we can think about is that when we're foot's on the ground and we're trying to create force against the ground when we're walking or standing, we would prefer to have sort of a squeezing into the ground with our toes and our foot sort of coming down in this method to squeeze into the ground to sort of grip the ground and find our stability. And you can see when we do this here, we have these folds running across the foot. This represents the arch moving from the ball of the pinky toe and the ball of the big toe, squeezing towards the heel, creating this contraction to sort of grip the ground, just like you would make a fist to grab a tool. Now, what I see, if I ask people who have these types of symptoms to flex the foot down, instead of seeing these cross folds, you can also see that I have a little bit of some vertical folding here. What I see in people that have uh, foot complaints is real commonly, we'll see only these vertical folds, or the vertical folds will be much more prominent than the horizontal folds. Now, I don't think this is bad in and of itself. I don't think this is bad in and of itself, but if your foot can only do one or the other, that's probably gonna be a less healthy foot than a foot that can bo uh, demonstrate both types of mobility. And here's the reason why. If we're trying to grip the ground like this, my arch is escaping this direction as I grip the ground and the arch is moving away to make that space. If I grip the ground by squeezing the bones together in this manner, I'm actually squeezing the metatarsal heads of all these toes together with every step to grip the ground. So the sesamoids, the metatarsal head of the second, third, and fourth toes, and so on, are actually coming closer together. Whereas if I can grip the ground with this horizontal fashion, the metatarsal heads are actually staying the same distance apart. Now, the body's not gonna like loading and gripping in a sense where all these bones are coming closer together with every step because that's just not gonna create enough space for the joints to articulate the way we wanna see. So in many cases, people do find relief by creating toe spreaders or going after toe splay. And that can help mitigate this a little bit because if you block the toes with toe spacers, it's gonna prevent the bones from coming as close together. And that's a good thing. That's gonna limit inflammation, probably feel a lot better but that's a far cry from adding back this other skill where we try to get these horizontal folds, which is a different skill of the foot. And what you'll typically see is if we ask somebody to create these horizontal folds with those types of symptoms, we either can't make them and they don't have this range of motion in the joints passively or, in a, or, or actively, or if they can make these folds manually with their hand, when they let go and they try to hold the foot in this position, what we'll see is that this area will heavily cramp. And that shows that these muscles in the sole of the foot don't have the ability to pull either the toes into flexion or the metatarsal heads towards the heel. So the sum total of this compensation is that an inability to contract the intrinsic muscles of the foot or the toe flexors is gonna to lead to a compensation where the foot squeezes side to side as the compensation and when that pattern gets well developed and we're loading that over many days, weeks, months, and years, the body's gonna create an adaptation in the foot to try to stop you from doing that because it's not healthy for it. And that's where we're gonna see symptoms like Morton's neuroma, sesamoiditis, metatarsalgia, uh, even hammer toes as the toes curl to try to do something in this direction. And a wide variety of symptoms that I see are caused by this inability to flex the foot so the foot actually squeezes together instead.